Good morning. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to a day in the life. It is Saturday the 13th of April and I am out with the dogs. I say I'm out with the dogs. I'm out with just Bella because the other two have disappeared in opposite directions. But luckily they do come back when they're cold. Out with the dogs in the park and it is going to be an exciting day today. Tamsin and I are going to see James Blunt in Cardiff. So, James Blunt, not everybody's cup of tea, I know that. Although, actually, he's a very, very funny guy as well as being a good singer, in my opinion. But, I want, I've wanted to go and see him in concert for a while. And every time I've asked Natalie, she's been like, no, Mum, no, I don't want to go see James Blunt. Tammy, not into James Blunt. And Tam's in a while back, started a sentence that went, do you suppose you want to come and see James Blunt? And I was like, yes! Yes, I do! I do want to do that! So, Tamsin and I are going to see James Blunt in Cardiff today. God, my arm's aching already. So a slightly later start to a day in the life because it's already 10 o'clock. I didn't film anything this morning because I've led in bed. Waiting for my legs to work pretty much. But I've taken painkillers. I'm not limping too bad today. I've taken painkillers. And uh, fingers crossed I'm going to get by. Fingers crossed it's going to be okay. I think I'm going to take a fold up walking stick with me to Cardiff just in case. Just in case I need it. But, but at the moment, touch wood, I'm okay. So the dogs have returned, but there's Bella. Can't get Molly in the viewfinder. She's there, there's Molly. And Darcy's just joined her, there we go. So yeah, walk the dogs first. And then go home and... I don't know what I'm gonna do when I get home. I've got several things that I could do, but I don't know if I've got time to do any of them. It would be very sensible to get some washing on the line because it's a nice day. So I might put a wash load on and get that. It's a beautiful day, in fact. Apart from that big grey cloud. <laughs> but yeah, I might get a wash load on. And uh, pick up Tamsin this afternoon and off to Cardiff we go. And you can tell the weather's nice again because I'm able to sit on the plumbing. Uh, one of today's challenges is going to be eating well. Because I'm back on my calorie deficit diet. And today is the first day that I've had a an out of routine day when I'm going to have to make good choices. So that's going to be one of today's challenges. Also, I should probably put some makeup on since I look like I've been dug up so far today. There's Darcy. Darcy, what you got, Darcy? A stick. Darcy, Darcy, hi, hi, Bella, Bella, hi, Bella. And Molly's eating grass. Molly eats grass a lot these days. Spoke to the vet. They said it's nothing to worry about. She just, she's going to be a, a grass eater. Not entirely sure what those two think they've gone off to see, but they'll be back in a second. This bit in this, this little bit of the park here, this is the calm before the storm because when we start getting sunshine and rain combined, these nettles and brambles will go sky high and you won't be able to make your way around the park again. There's no, that big clump of nettles there, just above the finger there. That's a massive clump of nettles and that's already getting out of control. And it will get to the point where you can barely get across the path because there's like eye height nettles. It's a shame they don't do anything with this. I decided to, uh, Rewild it, as I've said before. Hmm. Oh, Darcy! Shush.
I have got for my breakfast, I've decided to go with melon and yogurt and eggs. The eggs are for protein and to help keep me fuller. It is already 11 o'clock, so it's a late breakfast, I'm trying to eat later in the day. And Tamsin and I will probably even get to Cardiff, I would have thought probably about half three-ish. So this is, I don't know, is it brunch? Is it brunch when it's yogurt and eggs? I don't know. So I've got just over 200 grams of melon. I've got a Muller Light yogurt and some chalk shot. I've got two boiled eggs and it comes in at under 300 calories. I've immediately forgotten exactly how much it was. Hang on. Short-term memory for the win. 262 calories for that. So hopefully that's... Hopefully that's enough bulk to keep me going until we have a late lunch, early dinner. Dinner? Bella likes lying in the flower bed, so we put the uh, dog bed up there so she could lie comfortably. Yeah, Bella's uh, obstinate and obtuse is what Bella is. Remember the uh, the pond Aunt built last year? Well, it's still well, he's added some additional water features to make sure the water's aerated. I've just said to him, I don't see how I'm going to sit out here this summer because I'm going to need a week constantly. <laughs> But he's assured me that he can tone it down so that I can sit here without having to wear a nappy. <laughs> there are fish in there. Somewhere. Hidden underneath the ripples. They're not showing themselves. They're hiding. Okay, it is... Uh, what time is it? It's quarter past one. And I need to leave the house in 20 minutes or so. And so in my wisdom, I've decided to begin making a trial video. Mainly because I want to take one of the items with me. So I'm going to start filming that now. I've got my tripod set up. Honestly, you should see the state of this room. Um, I've got, I'm, I'm sitting on a half-made bed. I've got my tripod set up. It's um, it's all going really, really well. Really, really well. But the reason I need to do this, start this video, is because I want one of the items out of the bag to wear with me. To, to wear with me? To wear, to go out wearing. So, yeah, I'm going to start filming that. And then it'll be time to go and get Tams in, I think. I managed to waste a couple of hours doing absolutely nothing when I could have been doing this. I have a new phone holder in the car. It's just taken me an embarrassingly long time to work out how to get the phone into it. Embarrassingly long. Okay, I am going to go and pick up Tamsin. Also, I think Anthony must have been driving my car. I moved it yesterday because the seat's in the wrong place. I feel like I'm sitting on the dashboard. All of Anthony's height is in his legs, which means when he sits down, no, hang on, the wrong way around. All of Anthony's height is in his torso, which means when he wants to drive, he puts the seat quite a long way forward because he's got ickle legs. Don't tell him I told you that. Let's go and get Tamsin. <laughs> Well, hello, Mrs. Kuzak. You all right? So, Sorry. on a scale of one to ten. Because <laughs> 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 she <just> run! <laughs> I might have to turn the, the volume down on that clip. Because <laughs> 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 she just run! Are you a bit excited? Um, yeah. <laughs> 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 he messaged me last night and said he was weird. I think I must, might have pressed stop a little bit too soon. Could you repeat what you just said? <laughs> said he messaged me personally last night and said he was going to find me out tonight and marry me. James Blunt messaged Tamsin personally last night and said he was going to find her and marry her. Isn't there already a Mrs Blunt? 
she's not she's 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 material she's nothing she's, you, right. she's just then he will be a bigamist but so will i it's fine oh yeah this is a point Tom's <laughs> also married. Yeah. forgot about that Big and all round. we could be like the sister wives that tv show it didn't end well it's that's not ending well have you, have you I, not I, never watched three, of, the, three of them have left him he's only got one left oh yeah oh okay maybe that's not but i'm to be the one left all right <laughs> okay yeah okay i see <laughs> right tamsin and i are off to cardiff it is two o'clock i picked you up dead on time dead you're on impressed time. i am Dad is done on time. We're going to cut off. What are we going to do when we get there? Eat. I'm starving. Glad she said that. I, 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 I had a couple of eggs and some yogurt, but it hasn't really. I have not even had that today. I've, I'm doing. I've started that calorie control thing like you're doing, and I, I was. You're not supposed to not eat. <laughs> I know, but at two o'clock this morning I was so hungry, and I ate a cinnamon roll pot noodle thingy, and that was. And I thought I'd be really low in calories, but actually it isn't. So I no. kind of screwed myself up for the rest of the day. So I thought I'm going to starve myself now until we eat later on. Yeah, that's absolutely not how a calorie deficit. I'll have a chat. <laughs> I'll have a chat with Tamsin and talk about yeah, starving. And, yeah, I'm, 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 a very, I'm an avid Simmer World person. I've always done Simmer World. Mm -hmm. So I'm still, I need to get that out of my head and try and do it. So that. what's made you decide to do calories instead? Because I watched your video and about you saying using seven stones just to use them calories. And I thought, right, I'm going to give it a go. I there did, I did, I lost seven and a half stone. Yeah, and I watched it and I thought, right, I'm going to give that a go and see if it works. It, it works if you do it. it work, like anything, it works if you do it. If you know what you're doing. <laughs> it doesn't work if you starve yourself and then get so hungry that you go to weather spoons and eat the menu. It doesn't work if you do that. Um, right, off to Cardiff. We've made it to Cardiff. We're both hobbling. My legs seized up on the journey, which I knew it would. I was prepared for that. Oh, somebody's had a lovely wee here. Isn't that delightful? I'm not going to show you the lovely wee. I won't show, although... It's good job we haven't got smell of vision. <sighs> We're in the Pellet Street car park and somebody's had a lovely wee in the wall, up against the wall. Anyway, we've made it. You, you know you said you were desperate to go to the toilet. I'm not that desperate. That wasn't me. That wasn't me. I held on. But yeah, my first priority is find a loo. We made it to Weatherspoons. It is heaving on the ground. We're at the very, very back. The entire pub is absolutely heaving. People get an ID on the way in. I did not get ID. I've got a boneless basket with salad. Sounds has got a panini and chips. This comes in at under 900 calories, which I'm quite impressed with, really. I'm not sure how many is. How much was yours? Plus the chips. Oh, six hundred and two. Six hundred and two. I like ten chips. Tamsin was having a look in the uh, in the Gucci window to see if there was anything she wanted me to buy her for my birthday, but apparently it's none of it's very nice. It's not. It's not very nice at all. It's not my kind of thing. No. I like the jewelry boxes with the bees on the front. They're nice, but the actual jewelry leaves me cold. To me, that would be somewhere you put a Manchester, not in the middle of St David's Centre in Cardiff. <laughs> there we go. Look, I found what I want for my birthday. I want a Johnny Depp painting. Hand signed, limited edition artwork by Johnny Depp. Oh, I'm just looking. He's so divine, isn't he? He has to be one of the most nicest people on the planet. No. That one's number 128 of 'Cause those are prints, not originals. Are they? Can you sign there? He's just a man of pure pure what's the word it's a sublime, isn't he? Look at him. Sublime, there you go. Townsend's word of the week is sublime. He is, he's just such a nice man. I don't understand why anyone would not like him. Amber Heard's not keen. Oh, no, she's just a twat. Amber turd. <laughs> We accidentally fell into the Skechers shop and uh, I've got little socky things which turns in laugh when I said socky things but I don't know what they're called. They're not pop socks because pop socks go further up. They're literally just Sockets, like little socket things. Yeah. And the lady's gone to get me some shoes to try on. And then one's going to leave the store now. Do you want to buy those? They were quite comfortable. Yeah. on the floor but they look very good. These feel much, much bigger. Slightly different design. No, I don't like those. I think they look too, too old ladyish. 
Look, that, that's a, look her grandmother there. Yeah, they yeah, they look like somebody's nana. New crepes. I'm getting these. Tamsin's getting those. What did you just say? I'm getting new crepes. New crepes. Are, yeah. you, are you down with the kids? I'm down with the kids. <laughs> I'm with the kids. I'm down with my peeps, so. <laughs> And I'm getting these because I'm not down with the kids. And these aren't quite as grannified as the other ones. So look at my horrible granny feet, though. My feet look so old. Also, the lighting here is not great. My feet aren't filthy, even though they look like it in this, in this light. <laughs> Just pair my hand. I have had these so long that I've actually repaired them. I'm not even going to show you the inside because they're disgusting. But I've actually repaired the inside with duct tape. I've had new insoles in them I don't know how many times. They're worn out. I've literally I've worn through the memory foam like they're, they're absolutely worn out. But because they were comfy, I just kept on putting them on. And I knew they needed to go in the bin. And now I'm going to walk out there. See that bin out there? That's where they're going. And Tamsin Ranch has been in hers as well. We took our shoes off and we were embarrassed about the state of them. So new shoes. And these ones are going in the bin. Say bye-bye. Bye. -bye. bye. Ceremonial disposal of shoes. <laughs> Last time we came to Cardiff, me and Nat had bubble tea from here and it was really nice, so me and Tamsin are going to have one. I had, I think I had strawberry with peach bubbles. I did. I'm sure I had. I'm sure I had strawberry, or did I have mango with strawberry bubbles? Maybe I had mango with strawberry bubbles. I think I have mango with tea. Yeah. I'm going to have I'm going to have I'm going to have pineapple with mango bubbles. That's what I'm gonna have. <laughs> you gotta really stab it. I know my try to try it keeps Since when is a straw too difficult to operate? <laughs> hey. What do you think? I'll add a bubble, yeah, but that's what mango drinks tonight. I have no idea how many calories this is. I need to work it out. No. 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 <laughs> Put it back. Put it back. No, no, no. <laughs> we are in the queue and the queue goes all the way around the building. It's a very long queue. Eventually. How much does that set you back? 20 pounds. What does this say? It's a signature. Is it actually signed? Yeah. You get normal ones for fifteen pounds or signed ones for twenty. I even said to the lady, did he actually sign it or is he just printed? She went, no, he actually signed it. You don't think for one minute James Blunt would would would, would, would dupe his fans? <laughs> I'm like, oh no. <laughs> singing a weepy song, a tear rolling down my cheek, and I never meant to be that guy. You know, I, I wanted to be in a rock band, I wanted, to, I wanted to play rock songs and play the electric guitar, but you need friends to be in a band. So I found myself <laughs> in, my own, in my bedroom writing those songs that you know. And then amazingly, you guys went out and you bought those songs and you, and you downloaded those songs, and, and for a moment there, I started writing happy songs. And, uh, 
and I'm going to sing both of those happy songs maybe at the end of this concert. <laughs> but after that, but after that, well, what happened next, I guess, I guess, well, I, I had children, and then I started writing miserable songs again. <laughs> First of all, I want to play you a song about a very special woman in my life. Her name is Carrie Fisher. You'll know her as Princess Leia from Star Wars. And I was lucky enough, I was lucky enough to live with her in America when I was doing music between 2002 until she died in 2016. She had a piano in her bathroom and I recorded Goodbye My Lover and, uh, on, on that piano. She had another piano in the sitting room given to her by some ex called someone like Paul Simon. And I wrote You're Beautiful on that. And, she had chandeliers in the trees of her garden, and she had a Christmas tree up in her house 365 days a year. She was mad, she was wonderful, she was beautiful, and she was delicate as well as strong. And so here's a song for her. As I was saying before my low battery thing flashed up, it was a very good night and he's put my phone on charge. Alright, I've got I've got Tamsin on um on camera work. Steven Spielberg and the make it me. <laughs> Tamsin Spielberg? Yeah. Or Steven Kozak. <laughs> no, that, that just sounds like an old name. Um you can't really see from Tamsin's viewpoint, but there's a queue of traffic leading from here to I don't know, Aberdeen, I think, George right. It is half past 11. We got out of the gig at what, half past 10? Yeah, we waited for the Yeah, commercial. we haven't got very far just yet. So interesting to see what time we get home. We did sit for a while and everybody dispersed. We did, didn't we? Yeah. So yeah, Tam Tam's in on, um, apparently Steven Spielberg. Yay! I don't know what to press. I don't, I'm not sure Steven Spielberg has that conversation with people. <laughs> yeah, I don't think he does the camera work to be fair, does he? Does he not? No, he's a director. He's not holding the camera, is he? He's got other people for that. Oh, yeah. Mr. Spielberg, if you're watching, because <laughs> you know he's a big fan of the channel. Is he? <laughs> Do you know what? I thought he might. I'm sure I saw his name come up on your page, Patreon. Yeah, yeah, he's, he's, my Patreon. I ain't got one. You don't got one. <laughs> no. oh, that's the, okay. Um, yes. Yeah, so we are in a very long queue. But Tamsin, what did you think of the gig? It was epic. It was good. It was. It good. was really, really good. We both cried over monsters. Yeah. Yeah. I, to, I suddenly had to remember. I was rubbing my eyes. I was like, oh shit. Have got got, was it more, more, uh, waterproof mascara? Um, possibly, but my eyeliner is not. It hasn't much. I think, much. I, I think I cut, caught it in time and smeared it upwards. <laughs> so it hasn't much. It hasn't much, much. It hasn't much, much. <laughs> hasn't much, much. We're very tired. Yeah, and we're very hungry. Yeah. 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 Bear in mind that we had, what time did we eat? Three o'clock? Yeah, and it was like panini and two chips. And it's now nearly midnight. Yeah. That's not too bad, I suppose. No. So we had, I've I got had... loads of calories left. And in half an hour's time, it'll be tomorrow. Well, I've, 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 I've got 666 calories left. I think I've got like 900. Have you? Yeah. I, I had come I, like my two chips cost me 600 calories. Yeah. That's wrong, isn't it? Well, it's not wrong. It's no, right, you didn't. But... Have, you don't, I don't think. I don't think they gave you a full portion of chips. No. Um. Well, we just said if we're going to drive until we see food, basically, and then stop and get grab something to eat. Yeah. And then go home from there. Dirty kebab. I'm Most people. Have, are... I'm not having a dirty kebab. Annoy you. Most people have a dirty kebab after a night out. Yeah, but I think you're supposed to be drinking to want a kebab, aren't you? Sorry, are you're, supposed you? be, aren't you supposed to be wrecked and then go, oh, you grab blah, blah, blah. Oh, we're getting old. I must be getting old. I, I don't know. I've never been drunk <laughs> enough to want a kebab. No, you never, do you not like kebabs? Not that much, no. Certainly not. I prefer a kebab wrap. I prefer a kebab wrap than a proper really clear bread. I'll find you a nice salad somewhere. Thanks. Like friends of four, eh? <laughs> anyway, thank you for joining us for this one. We hope you've enjoyed it. We've had a cracking night. We've had a brilliant night. Yeah, we? all I've got to do really now is stay awake long enough to get us home. Yeah, please do that. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we'll see you soon. Take care. Bye for Bye. Now.